Big changes are coming to the very large array antenna in Socorro County, doing away with the VLA as we know it, all in the name of science. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked to the National Radio Astronomy Observatory about those plans. Sprawling across the Socorro County desert is one of science's most treasured instruments. It's a gem just right here in our own backyard. The Very Large Array, or VLA. Astronomers all over the planet, literally, want to use it. Made up of 27 large antennas. The whole antenna weighs 230 tons. Patricia Henning, director of the VLA, says the radio telescope helps us explore some of life's most fascinating questions. People have always been interested in the sky, right? As long as there have been people. We've been looking at the sky and wondering what's up there and what's our place in it. Each of these antennas collects naturally occurring energy from things in the universe like stars and the sun and galaxies and all sorts of different things. Helping us learn about the universe, but the facility is ready for an upgrade. The VLA is fantastic and it's still doing great science. It is over 40 years old now. We need to look into the future uh, and, and there's so much more we can do with a, with a, you know, upgraded facilities. And plans are underway for what's called the next generation VLA. The antennas will have a new design and instead of 27, there will be 263 of them. So it'll act like one huge telescope with elements spread out all the way across the U.S. With antennas concentrated in New Mexico, but also spread across the U.S. from Hawaii all the way to New Hampshire. It'll have 10 times the sensitivity of the VLA and give us 10 times sharper images on the sky. The more than $2 billion project is in the design phase, with the design of the new antenna just getting approved, clearing the way for a prototype to be built. They're expecting the NG VLA to bring more tourists in school classes, hoping it will excite New Mexicans. I hope they will come and visit. I hope it will be part of their education. While opening new doors for science. Really looking at you know, more into the formation of stars and planets, also studying pulsars in, in great depth. And so now we're going to be able to study with a, a, a very modern instrument, looking in, in new ways, uh, getting into the details about how do stars really form. It's going to be great for that. Annalisa Pardo, Care QE. News 13. Henning says they'd like to break ground on construction for the next generation VLA by the end of the decade with that facility in full operation, she hopes, by 2035. In the meantime, they encourage people to visit the VLA. You can find details at krqe.com.